we want anyone to be able to call this fun function. So we're going to make this public. And we want this function to do what? Well, we want it to allow users to send money, and we want to have a minimum dollar amount that they have to send. So the first question we need to answer is, how do we send ETH to this contract? How do we have it when a user calls the fund function, ETH automatically gets sent into our contract? Whenever we send a transaction on the blockchain, there's actually always a value field that gets populated. And most of the time, it gets sent with zero. Even before, when we called the send function between our accounts, when we added an amount in our MetaMask, this amount value populated the value field of our transaction. This value field is the amount of native blockchain cryptocurrency that gets sent with every transaction. The first thing that we need to do to allow a function in Solidity to accept this native blockchain currency in the first place is to make the function payable. It's this payable keyword that makes the function look red in the Remix UI. Just like how wallets can hold funds, contracts can actually hold funds as well. So whenever you deploy a contract similar to a wallet address, it actually acts almost the same as a wallet address. You can send money to it, you can interact with it, etc. And like we did in the demo, you'll see this contract actually gain a balance, just like a wallet. You can access this value amount of a transaction using one of the globals in Solidity called message.value. Solidity has a number of these globally available keywords and functions, and you can find these in the Solidity documentation. One of them is message.value, which is the number of way sent with the message. If we wanted users to be required to spend at least one whole ether with this fund function, we could use something called require to do so. In order to do that, we would add this line, require message.value is greater than 1e18. And there's a couple of things to unpack here. 1e18 is equal to 1 ether, which is equal to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or put another way, it's equal to 1 times 10 raised to the 18th. In Solidity, a double asterisk or double multiply sign is how you do a power or an exponent. This value here is the value in way of 1 Ethereum. In your smart contracts and at the lowest level, this is how they process numbers in this giant way format. So if we wanted people to be forced to send at least one whole ETH with this fun function, we would just say require message.value is greater than 1E18. You can use something like ethconverter.com to see to convert one Ether between Ether, Way, and Gway is actually another value in between Ether and Way. And we saw Gway actually when we saw gas costs. Normally gas costs are shown in forms of Gway. This required keyword is a checker. It's basically saying, hey, is message.value greater than 1E18? If not, then revert this transaction. And if we want, we could add a little revert message. We could say like, didn't send enough ETH. We can actually deploy this. We can actually compile and deploy this on a Remix VM. Deploy, scroll down. And if we hit fund, and if we pull up our terminal, and we hit fund, we actually see we get this little X here, meaning our transaction didn't go through. And if we hit the drop down, well, again, same thing, same thing. We know that this error is because we have this require statement in here and our transaction is reverting or not going through. So we know that with this transaction, we need to send at least one ETH or, or one E18 way worth of ETH in the value section of our transaction. So if we scroll up, we can actually just change the unit to ether, put one in here, scroll down. And now if we hit fund, Oh, it doesn't go through because we have strictly greater than. So excuse me, let's do let's do two. Now I'll scroll down, we'll hit fund. And we see we get a green check mark and we see the fund me balance actually has improved to two. If we update the value to two again, and we scroll down, we hit fund again, we see our transaction went through and we have four. If we try to do less, like let's change this to way and we'll do, you know, a thousand way. Scroll down, we hit fund, up oh, it fails because 100 way is less than 1E18 way right? Because one E18 way is this much way. So obviously, a 1000 or however much I put in is much less. So this require says if this first section is false, then go ahead and revert with whatever this second section is.